Welcome to the channel Visual Physics Tutor. The easiest and the simplest way of learning concepts of physics. Today you will be dealing with the chapter electric charges and fields. So here the primary concern is about electric charge. So what's an electric charge? So it's an intrinsic property of an elementary particles of a matter which gives rise to electric force between various objects. Now the question is, are charges measurable? Of course, charges are measurable because charge is a physical quantity. So now what is a physical quantity? Anything that can be measured is called as a physical quantity. So charges can be measured, therefore it's a physical quantity. Now how is a charge denoted? The physical quantity charge is denoted by the letter Q. It can be either written in capital Q or in small q. So this is the physical quantity, notation for the physical quantity of charge. What is the SI unit of charge? So the SI unit of charge is Coulomb. It is denoted by C. So this is the SI unit. What are the two types of charges? So it is positive charge and negative charge. So we know that the basic properties of electric charges, unlike charges attract and like charges ripple. Similar to that of a magnet where like poles ripple and unlike poles attract. Second is the additive nature. For example, I have a charged body and there are individual charges Q, a positive charge, again a positive charge, again a positive charge. So what will be the sum of the charges accumulated by this body? So it will be the total charge the Q plus Q plus Q that is 3Q. So if I write the total charge of this body Q is equal to 3 into the charge of each particle. So assuming that the charge is an charged particle is an electron so I can write that's the charge of an electron. So since here there were three charges, I write it as three here, then the charge of the elementary particle. So I can generalize the formula and write Q is equal to N into E, where N is the number of charges and E is the charge of the each particle. If it is an electron, it is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. So the additive nature states that if Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus till n number of charges, then the total charge of an object is the integral multiple of elementary charge. The charges are conserved. The total charge on an isolated system remains constant. If you look at the equation where an uranium isotope 235 uranium 92 is bombarded with one neutron, it will yield barium 141 56 plus krypton 92 36 plus 3 neutrons. So we can see that the charge before and after the fusion is the same. So now let us recapitulate some of the final points of this topic. Charge is a physical quantity. It is denoted by Q. It is a scalar quantity. The SI unit of the charge is Coulomb and the general formula for finding the charge of a total system can be written as Q is equal to N into E, where Q is the total charge, where N is the number of charges and E is the charge of the elementary particle. Now before we wind up this session, I would like to put forward a question. What shall be the number of electrons constituted by one coulomb of charge? I repeat the question. What shall be the number of electrons constituted by one coulomb of charge? 